Closed source lip sync models had the spotlight, but open source is catching up fast. Now anyone can create jaw-dropping studio level lip sync without the paywalls. And right here, Artificial will show you exactly how to use them. Stay tuned. Now I'm an animated wolf. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Let's try anime. Anime looks great. Fight Dance really crushed it with this model. Let's see how to use it. But before we do that, just one last test, really challenging. Hey everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. This one is gonna be a good one. We're talking about Hummo, the new lip sync model from ByteDance. They don't have any examples on their hugging face, but from what I've tried, it is an amazing model. You've seen it at the beginning. It really rivals VO3, which is awesome because we've been waiting for that. So let's get into it. I'll break it down. Let's download the models and let's get into the workflow. Okay, so first thing to do is download our models. So the models are in the description below. There's uh, quite a few of them for this one, but they're pretty straightforward. I'll break down a couple here and then we will get into the workflow. So you're gonna wanna go to your models folder. So you can see I'm in Comfy UI, and then we wanna go to models and then go to the diffusion models for the first one. So it says go to diffusion models. And then you're gonna to want to download the first one here. That's for everyone, the Melbound Rowformer. And then for the other two models, they're quantized scaled models for 40, 4,000 series and newer GPUs. So like 4090 or newer, then you're gonna to wanna to download the FPA E4 format for 3000 series and older. So like 3090 and older, you're gonna to wanna to download the E5 scaled. The rest of the models should all work regardless of which GPU you're on, obviously, as long as you have enough VRAM. So just follow along with those model downloads in the description and you'll be ready to run the workflow. Okay, so here is the workflow. This is based on KJ's amazing one video wrapper. I pulled the workflow from his GitHub repo, which is in the description below. And then I made a few modifications to it to allow for extra references and to allow you to not have to change the number of frames based on how long the audio is. So all you need to do for this workflow is put an image in, put your height and width in. So this works best at WAN video resolutions. So that's either 1280 by 720 or 832 by 480. And then you're gonna to wanna to put a prompt in and then that should be it. The only thing that you need to know is this doesn't work very well past five seconds. So around the five second mark, it starts to fall apart and the model seems a little bit too specific to be able to use context options, unfortunately. And the other thing to note is it's not technically image to video, it's reference to video. So your first frame is gonna be preserved perfectly. It's just going to take your first frame character and environment and use that. So sometimes you'll get it a little bit zoomed in. Sometimes you'll get it a little bit zoomed out. Prompting is really important if you want like a specific shot. So make sure you prompt accordingly. And everything else, all the models and everything, if you downloaded the exact models and put them in the exact same places that I did, this should just work for you. The only exception is if you have low amounts of VRAM, you should turn your block swap up. And if you don't have Triton working on Windows and you get um, Torch Compile errors, then bypass Torch Compile. All right, so there's three different options here. There's straight reference image to video, there's multi-reference image to video, and then there's text to video. So we'll start with just simple reference image to video. We'll add in the multi-reference and then we'll take it all off and we'll do one that's just text to video. So I have a clip here. But open source is catching up fast. This is just from the intro. And so all we need to do is make sure our prompt is good. So a woman with a white hat that says art talking passionately to the camera. Oh, and sorry, make sure that you, that the resize image node is going to the reference images. Earlier I had it going to the extra references. So I'll show you the extra references section right after this. All right, and here's our output. I'll play it a couple times for you guys. But open source is catching up fast. But open source is catching up fast. 
So you can see that the quality is awesome. The teeth barely have any artifacting like a lot of the other models do. And the lip sync follows great. It follows as good, maybe even a little bit better than Infinite Talk because we get a little bit more, you know, movement of the head and the face. And so for that, for that generation, I used LCM for the schedule. For this one, I'm going to try changing it to DPM++ in beta. All right, so we'll just use our same single reference image, but we're going to add in an extra reference here. Okay, so what we need to do is take this output, the image batch multi, and connect that up to the reference images up here. And again, if you want to do just straight image to video, just connect this resize image straight to the homo embeds. But if you want to do multi, then drag up to here. And you can add more reference images if, you, if you'd like. Just It seems to work better if you have this white padding around the image. So if you're going to add another one, just make sure that you're adding that white padding. And then it seems to like to prompt if you're referencing specific things in the reference image. So I'm going to say the woman wearing a hat, a white hat that says art sitting on a colorful patterned couch. So talk specifically about the references instead of generally describing it. And here is this output. But open source is catching up fast. So I'm actually just gonna rerun this one through because I don't love the outcome. It seemed like we got a lot better results with LCM. So let's just try LCM again. Okay, and here is LCM with that same exact workflow. But open source is catching up fast. But open source is catching up fast. So definitely LCM is the choice so far. We'll see if there's a better one that we discover, but LCM provides really awesome, clear results. Okay, so lastly, we're just gonna disconnect the reference images and we're gonna go straight text to video here. Um, so we'll go with a completely different prompts. Okay, and here's this result but open source is catching up fast. So you can see even with non-human characters, it still does a really good job, which is something Infinite Talk really struggled with. So there's some trade-offs, right? Infinite Talk can do really long generations without de degrading, whereas this can only do, you know, five, maybe up to seven seconds, but at, with seven seconds, you see some degradation. Maybe we'll see something in the future where sampling can work like Infinite Talk. The ByteDance team did mention something like that coming. So excited for that to come out. Like and subscribe so you don't miss when that comes out because that's going to be huge for us. So that is it. Hummo is out. It's awesome. Probably the best and cleanest lip sync that we have so far. Join the Discord. Show me what you guys are doing it, doing with it. A lot of you guys are making really cool things with lip sync, and I'd love to see them. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and I will talk to you in the next one.